Hey, welcome to week 13. I hope you're doing well. Um, these have been very busy weeks for all of us since we all started working from home. Um, I've had a lot of conversations with you folks over the past week, uh, talking individually with you, and um, I know it's not easy. So that you're able to stick through this is um, is great and uh, very appreciated. It's very evident through the forums that uh, you're still here, you're still making this work. So we're closing in on the end of the course. We uh, Tomorrow, Tuesday, we'll wrap up the Writing in the World project. And um, those have been really, really interesting to, to see in their development from you folks. So I'm really excited for you to all see what each other has come up with. I think that it's important, no matter what grade you teach, whether it's uh, preschool or college, um, that we always remember that our high school students were once first graders and our second graders will be high school seniors. And so having that idea of what kids do across the spectrum and what we as literacy teachers ask students to do, I think is really important. I think it makes us um, much more, uh, much better rounded as, as educators, but I think it also gives us some tools to help students along the way. I, I'm not saying you can do something specifically for a first grader that will make them a star writer as a senior, um, or understand why a senior can't write and look back at first grade, but having that insight of what goes across the across the span of grades I think is very important and very helpful. So with that said, um, we have book conversations that range the grades this week and we'll be seeing projects that really span the grades. So take a look. Uh, it's all part of it's all part of good literacy education, right? Is seeing what happens across the spectrum. So I'm really ex excited to see that unfold this week. Uh, this week, let's take a look at what um, we've lined up. Uh, last week, I asked you to do a lot of exploring. Um, it was kind of uh, unstructured exploring um, with some links on professional development. I've done a little more exploring um, of the Cult of Pedagogy blog. Um, if you haven't taken a look at it, do. It's an interesting setup. The The woman who started it up um, is pretty interesting, and uh, it, it, it's just grown into something that I think you'll find resources in there. Um, so this week, here's what I'm asking. Share your Writing in the World project. Um, you do it uh, Tuesday and um, take some time this week to dive into other people's and, and see what what people have come up with um, leave some friendly comments I think that community is is really nice um, to see when people are sharing work you know if we were in Orono this would be we would all come in with with different things right tablets posters papers and we'd be around a conference room and you would get a chance to go table to table and have conversations with each person. We'd probably take like the better part of a full class to just do that and showcase our work. So that's what you're doing here. You're just doing it virtually. Um, the big work becomes the writing development plan, which, uh, excuse me, I introed last week. Um, with kind of a range of ideas about, um, you know, there's some specifics, right? Like an objective, plans for at least one gathering, but also the big picture depth that that engages people across a span of time, research basis, and there are very much a lot of ways to present this. Kind of like each and every project you've done in here, right? It's not like X number of pages or a video X long. How you present it is for you. I would, as you prepare your work, I would consider presenting it in a way that you would for your school board or for your department or um, a public gathering like this of your colleagues. 
um, depth, you know, the, do it in a way that meets those requirements, that covers those requirements. Um, if for you that's, you know, three or four pages of writing, uh, maybe that works. Maybe it's different though. Maybe it's a PowerPoint. Maybe you're going to narrate it as a PowerPoint. So you figure a way that works for you. I'm essentially, you're essentially taking like two and a half weeks to prepare this. So it should have a little bit of depth. Uh, we have two great book conversations that I'm really psyched. Um, Amelia is going to uh, lead a conversation about Penny Kittles right beside them. And uh, Sally is um, leading uh, with Already Ready, Nurturing Writers in Preschool and Kindergarten, um, which I, I'm really psyched for both of these because they really do span those grades. So again, if you'd split up into two groups, that'd be great. And please, please, I know it's busy. Let's get in these book conversations early so that they can be dynamic. It's hard to have a conversation if someone's coming in on the last day. So please pop in early, see what's going on, see what you can do. All right. Please, early this week, share your ideas in this forum, the writing development plan, um, <clears throat> so that uh, we can talk about them. You can ask questions. Um, you can put out a call for help. I need these resources. Where can I find them? Okay, um, so please, that's if you could get something in early. And feel free to be flexible with those ideas. If you are like struggling, hey, I have three ideas, here's what they are, put that out and uh, let's evolve that over the span. Um, uh, topic 14, which comes next week, next week is really the last of the, the working weeks of this course. Um, but this week and next week are you have a lot of time to work on this project. Uh, the project's going to be due Monday of our very final week. I think it's Monday, May 4th. And uh, sorry. Um, yeah, Monday, May 4th. Um, and that week, it's that's the only thing you're doing that final week. OK, so we have this week, next week, and essentially that's it. Um, and the last thing is uh, this forum, what professional development should look like. Um, I asked you last week to look at a lot of professional development resources, and this week I'm asking you to talk about what professional development should really look like. We have all been in bad PD. We have all sat through these insufferable long lecture section sessions about not lecturing um, we've all heard from probably consultants who probably should not be consultants and after taking a course like this and exploring so much um, background and so many resources on writing I'm asking you to kind of come up with a policy policy statement some kind of a a treatise, a statement of beliefs of what professional development should look like. Please take your time with this. You don't have to write a long paper, um, but, but don't just put up a quick post. Take your time to kind of write in some other forum, really a, a, a position statement of what you think PD should look like, all right? And then share that so we can respond to each other's ideas. Um, I, I would rather you do this as a position statement sort of thing, like a kind of like a two pager, okay? Um, um, then put up a little quick response. Um, I, I think it'll you'll have a chance to share more um, structured or concise ideas, okay? Use those resources um, that we looked at last week as kind of the basis for this if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Uh, I think that's it. I left, um, I might have uh, rambled a little bit in this, so my apologies if I did. Um, I hope you have a tremendously great week. And um, please, as always, reach out. I'm not exactly like all booked up here, so uh, I'm very available to take a call, talk to you on Zoom, um, Google Hangouts, or whatever works. All right. Thanks. Have a great week. I will see you in there.